Coronial Gallows, the Bullet Babe herself, and you are watching Jammin' Music Man on YouTube. Tune in every day, every show. Your life depends on it. Too sweet. What's up, guys? It's me, Jammin' Music Man. Welcome to my new video, and if you couldn't tell, I'm in my tag team partner's room. Dirty D, the dirtiest player in the game, Dwayne, and we are on our way to go see who, Dwayne? AJ Styles. The number one wrestler in the world right there. Maybe some of you might have seen uh, Wrestle Kingdom 10. Uh, there's a match you can watch on YouTube between him and Shinsuke Nakamura. I think that's how you pronounce it, right, Dwayne? I just said in Japanese. <laughs> you can watch the match on YouTube because I watched it today. But they had an awesome match at Wrestle Kingdom. And this is probably going to be his first match since returning home because it's Friday. And Wrestle Kingdom was just this past Sunday. So this is probably going to be. Monday, actually. Yeah, this is probably going to be his first American match since then. Mm -hmm. And we're probably in for a treat. Anything else you want to say, Dwayne? I'm just ready to meet you. And, of course, the bullet babe, Amber O'Neill. Oh, yeah. We can't forget her. Also, Glacier's going to be there. Uh, Luke Gallows is going to be there. Oh, I didn't know Luke was going to be there. Yeah. He, well, he's supposed to be there. But uh, we're taking you guys along with us. Get your Bullet Club shirts on because we are heading to the show. Oh, yeah. John Cena merchandise. Hey man, I'm you ought to be ashamed. Go back home, Dwayne. Just go back home. Now, before he was the shock master, he was Typhoon. Hey, get that for me. Talk about man, this is my tour. I'll give you the rhymes in this tour. <laughs>
news. Tell that girl you're going to learn today.
those guys so much. I miss those days. Were you there on the final WCW Nitro? Absolutely. What, what was it like that night behind the scenes? That was, uh, it was surreal. We knew it was the last night. We had been told that we were done, that we weren't coming back. And 
uh, for me, you know, I was just going to work the next day. But for everybody else, it was their career, and they had to go find something else to do. So it was it was losing your job, but you can find another job, but it was knowing that you're never going to be with your friends again. It was, it was one of the saddest nights of wrestling. It was, I agree. It was a lot of tears backstage, a lot. But how do you feel about the, the state of wrestling right now? Are you it's, a fan? It's finally get back to the point where, where I enjoy it, especially with Mauro Ronaldo coming over from New Japan to be the host of SmackDown. I'm a huge fan uh, of Mauro, and with the changes and the new uh, talent that the WWE is bringing in that we all know about yeah, yeah, and who yeah. we've seen debut and then and, and the shocking debuts we've seen I'm not I'm not seeing that uh, but th they, they've elevated the right talent and brought in the right talent all across the platform and I'm, I'm really excited and Ring of Honor the same yeah, way oh, yeah. TNA the same way and and Lucha Underground coming back for season two New Japan showing up on TV in America it, it's a great time to be a fan they are, are before we close uh, Follow you on Twitter. Follow me on Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Facebook. That's the only one I do. All right. All right. Well, Scott, thank you, man. My nice pleasure. to meet you. You too. Wrestling announcing legend right here, Scott. <laughs> Thank you.
Jimmy Jim all as well. That was a great band. Anyway, thanks for coming out. Uh, playing a great show here. I said, I'll stay in time. I'll, I'll try to come back and stay in time with my schedule. But, uh, thank you all for coming out. I hope you have nice holidays. Uh, nice Christmas, New Year's, and everything else. And it's time to give back to the world. Let's go. Thank you to the rest of America, guys. It's great to be here. I'll be back. You'll be back. Wow, what an event. This was a rock show. This is a rock show. What do you think, folks? Rock and roll right here? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Thank you for having me, Dusty. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you so much.
a lot of history here, but right now the whole wrestling world knows there's more history here. So I say, and Bar's gonna ask you what you say.
Here we go. Style show. Just wanted to show you my autograph picture from the man himself, AJ Styles. Really enjoyed tonight's show. Probably one of the best Wrestle America shows ever. It was a jam-packed house tonight. But also want to let you know Dwayne got the same picture as me, and he got an autograph as well. Um, also want to show you guys I picked up a TNA wrestling DVD at tonight's show. It's uh, TNA's Turning Point 2012, and this was during the whole. Aces and Eight Faction. I was watching TNA a lot when they were on Spike TV during this time. But some matches you get on here. Uh, the main event, Jeff Hardy gets Austin Aries for the TNA belt in a ladder match. You get Devon Dudley against Kurt Angle. Um, in a number one contenders match for the uh, world title, Bobby Roode against AJ Styles against uh, Cowboy James Storm. And for the TNA TV belt, you get Samoa Joe, one of my favorites, against Magnus. And some other matches, but I'm looking forward to watching this DVD. 
But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I want to send a quick uh, thank you to Scott Hudson from WCW. I remember watching him on Monday Nitro and Thunder and WCW Saturday Night uh, back in the day. Special thanks to him. Um, also want to let you guys know the internet legend himself. It's still real to me, damn it. David Wilson, I believe that's his name. Um, he was at the night show. He was walking around with a Tosh.0 shirt. I wish I could have got an interview with him, but there was just so many people there. But I met him uh, a couple of years back at a wrestling show. Um, but guys, I tried to get an interview with AJ Styles, but like I said, it was a packed house. And there were so many people there. Also, I want to let you guys uh, on a fun little uh, tidbit. Um, if you guys watched at the beginning of this video, you noticed that there was a film crew filming outside in the parking lot. Well, I asked Luke at the end of the show, not on camera, uh, what's going on? He told me that A&E, the TV channel A&E, is filming an upcoming reality show, I guess with some of the stars at WrestleMerica. But, uh, you know, I'll keep you guys posted on this upcoming reality show that's going to air on A&E. He said it's going to be sometime in the fall. But, um, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to... Uh, give it a like, comment, subscribe to my channel. But guys, I just wanted to uh, tell you guys, you know, I noticed the news of what's going on with the WWE. You know, I think it's, you know, it's fair to say right now, AJ Styles has signed with the WWE. Not a whole lot of talk with the wrestlers about that whole subject matter. You know, I didn't ask AJ you know, have you signed with WWE, but I mean, there's a lot of talk on the internet, you know, apparently he has signed with the WWE, and apparently they've rated a whole lot of uh, New Japan Wrestling's talent, um, and some of the members of the Bullet Club included, but I want to know, what do you guys think if AJ Styles and the Bullet Club comes to WWE, what do you think? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be bad? I want to know what you guys think. Be sure to comment in the comment box and uh, let me know what you guys think. But guys, I'm Jamming Music Man. And also, before I let you go, uh, next month's show was announced. Um, the wrestling tag team legends themselves, the Rock and Roll Express, they're going to be at next month's show. Looking forward to that. But guys, Jamming